นี่ครับเดี๋ยวดูพระเนี่ยไปเกี่ยวครับมีแล้วก็เจ้าตัวก็อุตส่าห์บอกนะครับว่าขอโอ้ยแมถือว่าหวาดเสียวจังหวะแบบนี้ครับภาพช้าเนี่ยครับคงต้องพอแล้วครับตอนนี้ Yeah, mate. That has got to be a foul, I reckon. What do you mean, mate? You didn't put a foot wrong. It, yeah, just for that, you're coming off too. Welcome to this week in football, where I'm going to be covering everything you may have missed out in the world of football throughout. We start off with a bang, literally, where Thai footballer As Tourette's Ice Tourette. Let me try that again. We start off with a bang, literally, where Thai footballer Ice Tourette Muay Thai. Oh fuck it, bro. A Thai footballer, let's call him Jeff, got banned after an absolute cracker of a punch against his rival team. This is what football is all about. I think we all know who he's been taking his inspiration from. I might smash into somebody just to make me feel better. The match in question was between Bangkok FC and North Bangkok University FC. What kind of fixture is this, bro? Name one player who plays for North Bangkok University Football Association, and I will personally give you a blow. A cheeky boy. <laughs> While punches were being thrown in Thailand, the Champions League was heating up. Aston Villa beat Bayern Munich 1-0 over in Birmingham, with John Duran scoring the winning goal with a cheeky dink over the keeper. Ah, cheeky boy! <laughs> This guy's name is spelt backwards, bro, and he still managed to chip the keeper. No chippy chip. Harry Kane must be questioning his life choices now, ditching the German accent to go over to a Birmingham accent and sign for Villa. He should probably learn to speak proper English first before even attempting a Birmingham one. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Listen. It's actually unreal how Aston Villa have done this and the rise to get to where they are at now. And they're actually not the only so-called mid-table club that have done this. As over in the Premier League at the Amex Stadium, Brighton just beat Tottenham 3-2 after coming back from losing 2-0. Danny Welbeck scored the winning goal. Danny. Blood clot, well back. I know Christian Romero is stressing trying to catch up with his 54 pace. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to chase after them? Danny Welbeck and Brighton just work so well. Whenever he plays for them, he just turns into prime Ronaldinho. Celtic got smashed 7-1 by Dortmund. Congrats to those of you who had a bet on. Easy money. Money. And manager Brendan Rodgers says he's not bothered by critics who questions him on the loss. I've seen fewer goals scored on Rush, bro, and he's not worried. Yeah, <laughs> he's washed. The biggest news this week, though, in the Champions League comes with the end of Real Madrid's winning streak, as Lille came away with a 1-0 win against Los Blancos. The goal was through a penalty, but they still managed to hold firm against Ancelotti's eyebrow raise. So fair play to you, bien joué. That's French, by the way, mate. Sad news now, where the stadium David Beckham used to play at has been turned into a little. The irony is that this is probably the biggest upgrade Manchester United have had in the last decade. If you're a United fan, don't come at me. Your club hasn't changed anything. That's not my fault, mate. I just love how blunt this news report is. Speaking about Man United, and Eric Ten Hag came out in a press conference saying, "We are on one page." He still thinks he has the backing of the board behind him. What the fuck is this guy smoking? I mean, I know he's Dutch, so to be fair, I think we all know what. United played against Porto in the Champions League, and they were winning 2-0. Marcus Rashford opened the scoring, and then a cheeky finish by Haaland's sister Hoyland made it two. But by the second half, they conceded three goals. It's not all doom and gloom, though. They managed to get an equaliser in the last minute through Harry, Harry Maguire. Maguire. Ten Hag's future is literally hanging by the only thread of hair left on his scalp. I don't understand how he's still there. Let me know in the comments when you think he'll go, and if you get it right, I'll personally fly out to. Congratulate you. I went over to Leicester this week and we won a match. Come on. Hey. Beat Bournemouth in a tough to watch 1 0 win with a Kinder Buena Norte scoring a stunning goal that I caught on camera. Yeah. 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 Limbs, absolute limbs. This is the first time I went to a so called ultras end and I got to be honest, I loved it. Yeah, man. I've been a hooligan from day one. I'm convinced that if I wasn't doing the chanting, you know, we'd have lost the game. That, though, is where I'm going to end this week in football. If you did enjoy the video, please do like it and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. But let me know your opinion of the biggest surprise of the week in football in the comments below. Thank you, boys, so much for watching. I really appreciate you, fella. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you on Sunday.